A leading Egyptian journalist has suggested Percy Tau could leave El Oli in the coming weeks, possibly to join a big South African team. Welcome to Phoenix. This past week speculation has continued to mount around Tau's immediate future, which already appeared in doubt when coach Pizzo Mosamain left El Oli. As it is, a report from Supersport stated on Tuesday that El Oli has indeed cut ties with Tau. Already earlier this week reports from Al Masri Alium highlighted that the club's board had grown frustrated by Tao's injury record and had been looking to offload him ahead of the 2022-23 season. The report indicates there were some differing views on Tao's future, but he could now be released by the club, although several sources out of Egypt have suggested that he is still under contract and has not been officially let go just yet. Ayman Atef, editor of MySoccer24.com, has now told Meriwa Sports Worldwide that Tau could ultimately be released in the near future, with the Egyptian Premier League season concluding on August 29th. All the news that he left on Monday was not from Egypt, it was coming from SA. But officially, nothing is coming from Oli's management. Notably, with Mosemane's replacement Ricardo Sors set to be sacked, the expectation is that Tau will be part of a group of players who will exit the club along with the coach. And this will happen after the two remaining games in the league. And I believe Percy Tau is going back to the SA League, maybe to one of the biggest clubs there, Atef commented. The fans are criticizing the club management for the signings they made at the beginning of the season, and one of the major ones was Percy Tau. So everyone knows that Percy Tau is leaving. This is probably a scenario where there isn't smoke without fire, and earlier this week we asked fans to vote on where they would like to see Tau play if he does leave Egypt. The results overwhelmingly came down in favor of Kaiser Chiefs, with 51% of voters calling for the 28-year-old to move to Nechirina. Pirates received 21% of the votes, while interestingly Anderlecht got 15% of the vote, ahead of Sundowns, 9%. Thanks for watching.